Good morning, Storytime friends. Miss Jenny's here. And today, this morning, we're gonna be doing a baby time uh, story time. So if you are out there and you've got babies um, or a baby at home, um, we pause the video, go grab your baby, and we're gonna start with some, uh, some songs and some bounces. All right, so the first song that we're gonna do is Pat a Cake. And if you have your baby in your lap, <clears throat> remember anytime we do like a finger play or any kind of movement or uh, motion kind of activity, uh, you can do those yourself. So you're holding your baby and you're clapping and doing the movements, or you can take your baby's hands and do the movements for them. Either way is great. If you're doing it yourself, you're modeling for your child how to do those movements. Um, and then if you're doing it for them, um, they're doing it and they're feeling it and, uh, and that's great too. So either way. All right, so we're gonna do pat a cake. Um, all right, so got your hands ready. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it, pat it, and mark it with a B. You write a little B on your palm or your baby's palm and put it in the oven for baby and me. Mm. We're gonna start off story time with a snack. Sounds good to me. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is a rhyme called Apple Tree or it could be called baby tree, the way we're gonna do it. Um, normally when I do this one, it's the apple tree and we make fists and the fists are, are the apples in the tree. But today, it's a baby tree. So we're gonna put our baby up in the tree and this is a good little upper body workout, parents, uh, caregivers. We're gonna use our arms to lift our baby up. All right, here we go. Way up high in the apple tree, a little baby was looking at me. I shook that baby as gently as I could, and down came baby. Mwah! Was she good? Yummy babies. <laughs> That's kind of a silly rhyme, but it's really sweet. Anytime um, you can incorporate song, singing, and rhyming with your baby um, with cuddles and kisses, it's always great. Um, you're bonding with your baby and you're creating that really positive connection with language and just good feelings. And so that helps your baby later when they're ready to learn to read because you've laid that foundation down. All right, so the next couple things we're gonna do are some bounces. Um, and these also are great for reinforcing um, rhythm and language and you're really reinforcing that in a physical, immediate way because you're bouncing your baby's body in uh, time with the rhyme or the song. All right, so this one is called Giddy Up, and this is kind of a natural movement we do when we have our babies on our laps. We kind of do the horsey. Um, it's fun to bounce, and babies and kids love it. Um, it's a lot of fun. So we're gonna do Giddy Up, Giddy Up. Giddy Up, Giddy Up. Ride to town. Giddy up, giddy up, up and down. You wanna do that one again? Up and down. And remember, if your baby doesn't like to go that high, you can always just give a little boop, a little up and down, and they still get that movement, that motion of up and down. Giddy up, giddy up, fast. All right, we're gonna go fast on our horsies. You ready? Fast, fast horsey ride. Giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up, slow. So we're gonna just do boop, <laughs> boop. <laughs> giddy up, slow. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, whoa. Or maybe you'll go whoa the other way. <laughs> and it's a lot of fun when you go whoa because it's that you feel like you're falling but you're being held safely all right so the next one we're going to do is the stopping song and so this is where we can uh, do any kind of movement that we can you know think up and the important thing is that we're going to stop it and so that's always uh, your babies are going to get that part of it um 
you know, right away until they're a little bit older, but it's just learning how to control our bodies um, and stop a moosh, a motion, a motion, a movement or motion. <laughs> I made a new word. All right, you ready? Okay. We bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and 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 we stop. Now let's clap our hands. You ready? We clap and we clap and we stop. We clap and we clap and we stop. We clap and 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 we stop. Now let's wiggle. Are you ready? We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and stop. Yay! Good job, everyone. All right, one last one before we leave um, each other today. And this one's called In and Out the Window. And um, if you've done this one with me in story time before, um, there's a part where we go, uh, we turn and face our neighbor because normally we wouldn't be doing this with our friends in a big circle. Um, but for this time, we're going to turn to your right and we're going to turn to our left. All right, so we're going to do that. And then we're also going to be going up and down the staircase and we're going to go in and out the window. <laughs> All right, you ready? Okay, everybody got your baby ready? Okay, we're gonna get really close to each other and see. Mr. Bear is gonna get close. Go in and out the window. Go in and out the window. Go in and out the window as we have done before. Now go up and down the staircase. Go up and down the staircase. Go up and down the staircase as we have done before. Now turn to your right side. Now turn to your left side. Now turn to your right side as we have done before. Yay! Thank you everyone for joining me and Mr. Bear. Thank you, Mr. Bear, today for our baby rhyme time version of story time. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you here next time. Bye-bye.